Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to explain why hardware and devices troubleshooter is gone, where it is, and why you can still run it, even if it asks you for a passkey. What happened is Microsoft removed it because they thought it was redundant, that there was plenty of troubleshooters. Let's look real quick. You can start typing in troubleshooters until you see troubleshoot settings in your search. And here's all the troubleshooters and hardware and devices now missing. Windows felt that they had enough updates in here that anything that was a problem with that particular update kind of made it redundant. So there you go. So it's gone, but it's not. Let's dig it up. Get your um, file explorer open. And remember, this only applies if you have Windows 10 version, I believe 1809 and older. So if your Windows 10 is up to date, you probably can't find it. So what we want to do is we want to type in, let me check my guide here, which will be linked to msdt.exe. I've browsed around and found it, but it's a little faster to do it this way. Uh, a whole bunch of them should come up. Make sure you click on C and don't do something dumb like search your documents like I just did. It should come up in a whole bunch of locations, but you're looking for it to say Windows System 32. So make sure you click on the right one. And again, we're just going to show you what's going on with it now. There it is, System 30. Whoop, moved on me. System 32. So if we double click it, this is what you get now. So Microsoft has buried it and made it essentially unusable, sort of, until now. Here's what we want to do. Let's fire up PowerShell. Press your Windows key plus X and click on PowerShell as admin. I almost always run it as admin. And by default, you should be in Windows System 32. If not, you can do um, CD backslash and type it in and type in Windows. Uh, for example, CD C colon backslash Windows backslash system. Again, you should be here already, but that's what you would type in just in case. All right, so scroll on down to my guide here so I can make sure I get the right code. It's right here. So we're going to type in the executable name with a space dash ID space device diagnostic. Typically, sometimes case sensitive, but your best bet here is to quite simply just right click on this and hit copy. And when you do that, bring your PowerShell back up. Control V will paste that code in there. And as soon as you hit enter, up pops the hardware and devices troubleshooter. So you can get around it. While we're here, just worth mentioning briefly, um, all the troubleshooters are the same. There's next and there's advanced. Advanced is only if you want to apply the repairs automatically. And then you click next and you kick back and you wait for it to find any problems and try and repair them. And it'll let you know how it made out. So every troubleshooter works exactly like that. So there you go. Once again, this guide will be linked to in the description of the video so that you can either read this. So you remember msdt.exe and where it is. Or if you want to copy and paste this code right here to get it popped open. Hey, any problems? Oh. Oh, I don't think so. You're not touching my drivers, dude. No way. All right, cool. There you go. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks for the likes and subscribes. And hopefully we will see you next time.